Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. A common question I've been getting since 11.0.5 dropped is what are the best builds and what are the best rotations? Because some things have changed our healing rotation. So this is going to go over the three builds Mist Beavers have been playing, and that is the caster build, the hybrid build, and the full-on Fist Weaver build that will probably be viable after the changes on October 29th or October 30th if you're EU. So I'm going to go through each of those builds i'm going to tell you the rotation that you need it's not going to be as in depth there's right here the trophy gcd right here the rotation for everything will be right here so you'll be able to see what i'm pressing but i'm just going to go through the builds uh what talents specifically are doing what and then how to heal with each build a few things that have changed in the new patch is comic coalescence you no longer need to stack it the absorb is just increased by 80 percent from this talent and then you got two new talents that you're going to be messing around with so first of all Jade Empowerment makes it so when you Thunder Focus T, it increases your next crackle damage by 800%, and it'll chain to four additional enemies after the patch uh, this, this week. It's only going to crackle to two additional enemies, which is fine. You only need about two or three enemies for it to crackle to basically top your team, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then you have Jade Fire Teaching. So after casting Jade Fire Stomp or Thunder Focus T, Ancient Teachings transfers an additional 140% damage to healing for 15 seconds, and then you have 5% increased stamina while Jade Fire Teaching is active. Now, the one passive I want to know about is that Ancient Teachings. Let me show passives real quick here. Ancient Teaching. So this is the biggest change that's probably happened and you need to understand this passive to really understand how you're going to be healing this patch and moving forward. So Ancient Teachings used to be a talent. It is no longer a talent. This is a passive spell. You don't need to spec into it. What it does is your Tiger Palm, Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick, and Crackling Jade Lightning heal up to five injured allies within 40 yards for 30% of the damage done split evenly among them. So that is Ancient Teachings. That is baseline. You don't have to spec into it. That means even if you don't have Jade Fire Teachings, and I'll show you Rushing Wind Kick when you'll play that, even if you're not playing Jade Fire Teachings, you're still going to be healing with your damage. You're still going to be healing with your Rising Sun Kicks, Tiger Palms, Blackout Kicks, and Crackles. So just keep that in mind. That's really important to know. And the Jade Fire Teachings just buffs it by an additional, technically this week, it'll be a, an additional 160%. So you'll be doing, a, uh, what, 190% damage of the damage you do gets converted to healing. Starting off with Caster Mistweaver, this is the build I've been running, and I don't think there's anything that changes from this build except for one talent... If you don't want to play lighter than error, you can move this talent anywhere you want. I, you can. There really are many spots to put it. I think that most people are going to put it into Ferocity of Juan to increase all damage you deal by 2%, which will give you 2% more crackle damage technically. But that extra mobility from lighter than error, that's that's what I'm going after. And then also, if you're playing against like a Death Knight or something, you could play Celestial Determination so that when you have Yulon up, you can't get slowed below 90% of movement speed. That's fine too. Stuff like that's okay. I just love my movement speed from lighter than air. Master of Harmony is the hero town of choice these days. It's just they fix bugs from it from beta, which is great. They also increase the healing. They made it faster to ramp up the vitality that you store. And this just feels good. The rotation really hasn't changed too much. You're going to obviously want to start with your statue down always in the start of an arena. Get your, your renewing mist out because you want the Chi Harmony buff from this talent right here that increases the amount of healing it take by, I believe it's nerfed in PvP by 25%. Yeah, by 25%, but still, you always want to have this Chi Harmony up before you start healing because you're just missing on a 25% healing. And from there, it's just a combination of your Vivifies and Enveloping Mist, depending on the situation. Enveloping Mist will put a hot on somebody and then they take 40% increased healing from you. So if you if you have the time to do it and you're trying to stack you your, your uh, multipliers, you're renewing Mist for Chi Harmony and then you're like Enveloping Mist and then that person's taking 25% extra healing from your Chi Harmony and 40% extra healing uh, with, thanks to the Enveloping Mist. And if someone starts dying, this is when you're going to start crackling. So this dragon just practice, just started using Dragon Rage. So if someone, you know, a dragon uses Dragon Rage and they're using their burst cooldown, Thunder Focus T, Crackle, and it's going to chain to all three or whoever is near your primary target. Now, ideally, you want to get a Crackle, obviously, on as many people as possible. So you want to be Crackling pets, right? If you're playing against a VM Hunter, a Demo Luck, an Unholy DK, anything with multiple pets, even like a Shaman with their little fire ellie spawn minion or shadow priest siphons like anything like that anything that can take damage from crackle you want to try to crackle whoever's like in between them that way you're 
your crackle chains off to them in combination with Zen Focus T that they changed as well. This wasn't in the patch notes, by the way. Zen Focus T is baked into Thunder Focus T now. So if I Thunder Focus T, I'm going to get Zen Focus T and you can't get kicked on the crackle. Even with the nerfs to crackle chaining from five people to three people, it doesn't matter. As long as you can crackle two to three people at a time, you really don't want to crackle one person. It's not enough healing. It's decent. But if you're in shuffle at high dampening or twos or threes, it, it's not, it's just a waste really. So you don't want to crackle one person. Ideally, it's two to three people. And again, the rotation is fair, is pretty simple. You're going to get Renewing Mist out. Use your instant vivify when you can, when you get your vivacious vivification right here. And that's just helping with your instant heal because you're going to have to cast quite a bit. But as soon as you get those hots out, maybe Thunder Focus T and Bumping Mist for the extra healing, for the bonus healing, and then crackle with Zen Focus T. Next up is certainly a work in progress, but this is more of a hybrid build between Caster Mist Weaver and Fist Weaving, where you're primarily casting, but... You're going to take two talents that kind of alter how you're going to play. The first one is Crane Style. So what Crane Style is, is it makes your Rising Sun Kick, Spinning Crane Kick, and Blackout Kick be affected by your mastery, essentially. So whenever you use those spells, you're going to heal through your mastery, and then you're going to be taking Rushing Wind Kick. What it does is it just does a cone of damage, and it replaces your Rising Sun Kick. And it just does a ton of damage for it, it's just insane i've crit for one and a half million <laughs> uh, with this spell so what you're doing is now since this replaces rising sun kick you are going to be playing russian wind kick and it's gonna be affected by dampening now one thing i do want to note very quickly is you do want to play t of plenty with this because it has a chance to make you know you an additional charge of rising sun kick however this is bugged right now i would i would highly recommend not doing the bug because you might get banned for it i don't know if you'll get banned for it so i just that this is the build you will be playing or should be playing with hybrid if you want to do hybrid but just keep that in mind it, it could it could bug and i don't know if they're going to ban and then the last one is rising mist which makes it so your rising sun kick or your rushing wind kick will extend the hots your envelope mist and renewing mist hots on your teammates which is amazing so the rotation and by the way you're still playing jade empowerment for the increased crackle damage, you're just not taking the additional healing from Jade Fire teachings. So rotation is nearly identical to the caster mist weaver, except you're you're just rotating in your rushing wind kick. So you're gonna get your renewing mist out for the Chi Harmony. Use your instant vivifies when you can. If you have time to cast, use your envelope mist if someone's dying with your vivifies, and then when you need to heal. You're going to Thunder Focus T. I would go for a Rushing Wind Kick to reduce the cooldown and then go for a Crackle and then go for another Rushing Wind Kick. And that healing is, again, just absolutely, it's just so good. And you, you do decent damage. So, so the hybrid build is more for like if you want to Q2s and or even some Shuffle where, you know, you kind of want to get some, play more aggressive, get more pressure out, maybe versus more single target teams. Then you could play this build and you could do absolutely just wild damage playing Russian Wind Kick, like straight up. So I think this build is fantastic for just day to day, trying to be more aggressive, doing damage from range, but not fully fist weaving. Uh, but you do need to be careful if not to play it versus comps with a lot of CC because the cone is only 25 yards as opposed to crackle from the caster healing where your crackle is 40 yard range. If I try to rising sun kick from here, I'm not doing anything because I'm too far away. So use this build if you're going to play a little more aggressive. And again, the healing rotation for this is get your renewing mist out for Chi Harmony and any instant vivifies you can. Channel your Soothing Mist into Thunder Focus T and Velping Mist. And then from there, I would go for a Rushing Wind Kick to get the healing from your Crane Style and then a Crackle. Hopefully, if you're playing Sun Focus T, you still have a little bit of Crackle time left so you can get that full Crackle channel on ideally two to three people. Boom, Rushing Wind Kick. But the healing is good. The downside to this is I don't think it's enough healing uh, compared to the Jade Empowerment, Jade Fire Teachings. It's, the healing is even close, in my opinion. Like, it's not even close. The healing from the caster build is so much more than this one. But you do more damage with Rushing Wind Kick. Finally, let's just say you don't want to cast it all. You just want a full-on Fist Weave. This is the build that I feel like is pretty good. It, this one's really still a work in progress because Fist Weaving. haven't really paid too much attention to it because this expansion has been a little brutal. But this is what I've been playing with Fist Weaving. I think I got like a 4-2 and a 5-1 in Shuffle with this. So it, it's, it's pretty solid. Obviously, the rotation for this is a lot different. I'm going to just say, point out anything that's Fist Weaver. So, you're playing Clash, of course. You're going for damage talents. 
nothing too crazy on the left hand side again you're playing master of harmony for this as well right hand side obviously it's it's, it's a little bit different right you're playing your jade fire stomp you stomp the ground and you activate your your ancient teachings you could theoretically drop this but you really want awakened jade fire which makes it so your tiger palm strikes twice and your blackout kick strike additional enemies you want that to get the reset and rising sun kick which i will explain and you are playing jade fire teachings i i tried playing russian wind kick with this i i i don't like it i i really don't think you do enough healing i, I really don't i think you need jade fire teachings uh with it and then pretty much everything else is the same you are going to play chi -G. And the one weird thing about this build, now listen, you could you could play whatever you want, really you can. I really don't like Shaylun's gift when I'm fist weaving. Other fist weavers might, that's and that is perfectly fine. Like I maybe it's better even. It could it probably is better. I can't play Shaylun's gift when I'm fist weaving. I hate it so much. So I play peaceful mending, and I know it sounds weird, but it actually does work because I play statue here. And what peaceful mending does is it makes it so when a target an ally is targeted by soothing mist, they take more healing from your enveloped mist and renewing mist. So what I do, and obviously it's one more, one extra thing to manage, but what you, what I do is I put my statue on and I'll tap my soothing mist and then I'll use my renewing mist and like don't focus the enveloping mist and that those hots are increased by 40%. So that's just me. However, that is pretty much the only weird thing about this build that I do. Correction, do not put the point into TF Plenty, put the point into Jade Empowerment because this is a really good talent while you're fist weaving. I completely forgot that I was testing something out. Jade Empowerment is, of course, it's still strong and you're playing it with Jade Fire Teaching. So this is the build that I would run. I will put this link in the description because I think this is just the best way to heal as a fist weaver. Even though it's a little weird to do Crackle, it's still a ton of healing and the mentality that you need when you're fist weaving is that if you're not doing damage you're not healing like straight up you're not healing so that's what you need to get in the mindset is so when you're fist weaving i put my statue down you don't have to put your statue down if you're not playing statue completely fine but you activate your ancient teachings by either jade fire stomping or thunder focus t which by the way fantastic change by blizzard love that but you can see i get my little jade fire teachings buff can i minimize this yeah jade fire teachings buff right here which converts 140 percent additional damage to healing now from there there's a few passives you need to understand when it comes to fist weaving the most important one is that blackout kick has a chance to reset the cooldown on rising sun kick that's like the biggest thing that's the goal your goal of fist weaving is to get as many rising sun kicks out as possible so what you want to do is Jade Fire Teachings, Tiger Palm. And remember, this talent right here makes you Tiger Palm twice. So you're going to build up stacks of Teachings to the Monastery. And what this passive does is it makes your Blackout Kick hit twice. So it's all coming together. Your Black, your Tiger Palm builds up Teachings to the Monastery stacks, which gives you more Blackout Kicks. And your Blackout Kicks have a chance to reset your Rising Sun Kick. So that's, that's the important thing. So always try to Tiger Palm a little bit. But the first thing you always want to prioritize is use your Rising Sun Kick. And then blackout kick whenever you have a few stacks of teaching the monastery. I gotta reset my rising sun kick, so I'm gonna reset my I'm gonna use my rising sun kick. Then tiger palm, blackout kick, rising sun kick. Tiger palm, blackout kick, rising sun kick. And that's literally that's your priority. Just try to practice that. Just those three spells. Tiger palm, blackout kick, rising sun kick. And you wanna get you activate Jade Fire Teachings. Now once you once you get that down, tap your soothing mist. You're gonna thunder focus team enveloping mist normally and then rising sun kick take the cooldown reduction right because it re reduced the cooldown by nine seconds and then you can just tiger palm rising sun kick blackout kick pff, rising sun kick tiger palm blackout kick rising sun kick now this is fantastic for when teams are stacked up right this is amazing usually really fist weaving is normally really good against pet classes bm hunters demo warlocks unholy death knights anything like that is amazing you normally only have to use tiger palm once and then a blackout kick, and then you, you get your rising sun kick. Now, in that's in a perfect world, but in PvP, things change, right? So you never really know um, the situation you're going to be in. For single target, it's pretty much the same. You might have to tiger palm twice, though, right? Tiger palm, blackout kick. I didn't get the reset, so I tiger palm, blackout kick again, and I didn't get the reset again. So I'm going to go for a thunder focus and envelop mist on the globals, right? Tap the soothing mist, so I get the extra healing. Tiger palm rising sun kick i'm going to tiger palm again into a blackout kick into a rising sun kick and then you also want to weave in your crackles right because we're playing jade empowerment so if you're in a situation where you know someone's kiting away from you right like you can't you know you've used your clash you've used your roles you can't get to them mage blinks away warlock ports but someone's dying i would just go for a thunder focus t crackle and then go clash or hopefully have roll by then and then just go back to doing your normal healing rotation so again 
Priority is always Rising Sun Kick. Always, always, always Rising Sun Kick. Then you're going to use your Tiger Palm to build up uh, Teachings of the Monastery stacks. And then you use your Blackout Kick to hit enemies to reset your Rising Sun Kick. If people are kiting away or if people are stacked and you need to heal, use your Crackle for healing. But that's the Fist Weaving rotation. Nothing else really to it. I think that Fist Weaving has potential to be decently meta with these changes coming on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. The thing it's been lacking this expansion has been damage and really just healing output. But with the buffs to the Jade Fire teachings and the damage buffs to Rushing Wind Kick, I think there's a chance that both of these could be good. That is it for the three builds that I've been using this patch along with the healing rotations. I know that I've been getting that question a lot. If there's any confusion, any questions, any other video suggestions that you want to see, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions, come up with any videos that you need as always, always. So that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.